Well, so as far as producing these effects, right. are you saying that space-time itself is actually curved, or are you saying that uh, you can use high electromagnetism to curve space-time? Space-time, it wants to be curved. So in other words, you have to um, mechanically or artificially induce curvature in it. And you it's, do that through electromagnetism? You can. I was talking to a scientist named Bob McGuire. Do you know him? I've heard of him. And, you know, he was talking about the stress energy tensor right. in Einstein's equations. Right. And you know how sort of conventionally in physics, if you have enough electromagnetism, you should be able to curve space time. But we really just know that that occurs through mass because you have like planetary cosmology where there's sort of this inward gravitational force. But it doesn't really feel like from an engineering perspective, we have the ability to create the enormous amount of electromagnetism in order to curve space time. What do you think? I, this is a great question. I appreciate it. So I would say that we actually can and we have privately um, as humans without even needing to look at any type of reverse engineered programs. Although I'm sure, you know, if one is working on a project and they're given access to reverse engineered legacy programs, they'd be able to, you know, cross-reference and make vast advancements. If you look at the work of uh, Salvatore Paez... So